Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to my channel. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click the notification bell so you will get updated with my uploads, live streams, and new videos. Hello, good day everyone, Rohilio here, and today I'm going to show you a simple tool that can be used in your PowerPoint while sharing your PowerPoint to your class, which is ideal during math's lesson. So supposing you are sharing the PowerPoint to your home and your class learners, and you wanted to annotate or write something on your screen. So I have a short tool here, or a simple tool down the PowerPoint. You can write, find it on the left side below. So you can see here some symbol. So there are two arrows, forward and backward, previous and next slides. You can also see in the middle here a pen symbol. And when you click on it, you have different options. We got the laser point, and when you click on it, the people or the students can see the pointer. When you click on the pen, that's the most ideal, which you can already scribble or write on your screen on the PowerPoint presentation. And it can be seen both in the class and for the home learners. So supposing you wanted to show the process of the addition for 54, plus 22 in column method here we go so 4 plus 2 is 6 5 plus 2 is 7 to 6 or you may show some other processes by scribbling some examples on your screen and at the same time it can be shown at home now if you wanted to change some information click on the eraser and delete some unnecessary scribbles if you wanted to highlight some some part of the presentation just like the answer here we go or some questions so you may use also different colors for the font and for the highlights all right so this is ideal for the math lesson Last time, I showed how to present or to share in Browse. So that is case to case. When you wanted to present simple presentation, which are ideal for science and English lessons, you may use the Browse. But if you wanted to share some annotations, please use the desktop so you can write and share it to your class all at the same time. I hope this video works for you and it helps. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye.